Thank you for tuning in to Four Wall Online Videos. Today we're going to start the install of our Rugged Ridge XHD modular bumper on our 2013 Jeep Wrangler JK. So getting ready to install our Rugged Ridge XHD modular bumper, we've removed the factory bumper from the vehicle. Now that we've removed the factory bumper, in order to install the Rugged Ridge bumper, you need to trim the vacuum pump mount from the frame rails. That allows you to remount the vacuum pump lower in the frame rails so that the new XHD bumper can easily slide into place. So now that we've assured that the clearance in the, from the vacuum pump bracket is out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and test fit the bumper to make sure everything's lining up. Now that we've determined the fit of our bumper is good, let's go ahead and bolt the bumper in. Now we've decided to use the matching D-rings for the, for the bumper, so we need to put those up and then put our bolts through to mount the bumper in. So now that we've installed our Rugged Ridge bumper, we went ahead and installed our Smittybilt wench. This is the X20 8000. It's an 8,000 pound wench with a synthetic rope. We've wired everything up and we're ready to spool in the synthetic rope. So now let's go ahead and spool up the synthetic rope onto the wench. One of the great features of the Smittybilt wench is the remote has a magnet on the back, so you can just stick it about anywhere. Rugged Ridge offers many different protective brush guard style options for this bumper. We opted for the small nudge bar look, and we'll simply bolt it in with the four bolts, and the install's done. So as you can see, now we've finished up the install of our Rugged Ridge XHD modular bumper and our Smitty Belt X20 8000 wench. Keep checking back as we build out this 2013 Jeep Wrangler JK Unlimited, only at fullonline.com.